Sorry about that. My game crashed for some reason. When it shouldn't have. No, I mean, the game was crashing without mods in the first place, so... Go figure, it would still keep crashing anyways. It's like, ooh, shocker, game crashed. <laughs> Thank God I save very often. Oh boy, oh boy. This is gonna be something that work properly. Like, ever. Also, I forgot. No running. Running in the Bethesda games always causes crashes. Like, the speed is so fast that the game fails to compensate. See, now I can enter water like this and be perfectly fine. but yet the very devs that make the game either have their hands tied behind the back or they're too damn lazy to do it themselves. Or not smart enough to go, hey devs, thanks, and just we're going to add that in our into our game and re-release it. Since they already used your product to make a better product. You just have to optimize it at all. <laughs> Dog me is like, hey, pet me. So I got headed into the city. This is the only best uh, number one settlement, I believe, because of the way it's set up. As a good beginner settlement better than any of the others for one reason only is it's easy to manage very low population Very close to everything you need for the main story as well.
Plus, a lot of shit happens over here, too. There's just so much happening in this one location that it makes it the best settlement. And it's a central hub for a lot of shit. Here it is. This is the best settlement. Now, just need to grab my frag grenade. What the? That's the problem right there. Is there really strong, I guess? If I could take it, I can di get a lot of shit going for good for me. Hey dog. 
Pigman's Alley is now mine. What? Enemies nearby. Who? I killed everybody! Hell, I even killed a guy with a red skull that was the main leader of this place. That's it. See, the noise doesn't happen anymore. Because you get all this as your settlement, right? And if you have the mods in, all of it is uh, usable again. But if you have to, you got to build up. Okay, who the hell's nearby that's giving me such issue? I mean, the settlement building is probably the best thing in this game. Hands down, without question. Because apparently right here, see, no one really goes past this point in the in the area because the way it was designed but modders fixed that Will you come back here to die? Okay, I'll take a piece of that booty. Look at that booty, that nice juicy booty. Is that it? Not all of them? Can I take this now? Okay.
Isn't it nice if you can pick up all this garbage off the ground and make it nice and level? Oh, shit. Huh. That's... Wow. Kind of like that a little. Normally you couldn't be able to remove a lot of that stuff. Um, hmm. Remember putting wood on here, so I don't know if the mods will let me even do it now. This is probably the best place to start a settlement because you can work on it. It's easy to keep it all well kept. That's what I'm saying. It's easy because you got all this, you got plenty of room to work with. A maximum of 20 people can live here with max charisma, that is.
Hmm. There's one way that I know. This makes it into a double, this becomes a double shop right here. I turn this into a double shop. And then I go upstairs to a second floor that I manufacture up there. I need to, um, hmm. can't uh, tear this down, like, ever. So it's part of the environment, for good reason, I guess. I'm not sure. But I always could just place my own staircase right smack dab here. I think. Hello? Hello? So, how's everyone else been doing? Good, I hope.
Interesting. This is going to be weird. How am I supposed to get a staircase back up into here if it's not counting this as a viable floor? So, I gotta start over here, that's for sure. Or in one other place. Then I need a stairs. So I can go up. And check it out. It's not completely lined up like I was hoping. So I need to go back down, grab it. Raise it back up. Oh, that's right, the staircase. Because I want it flushed against the wall. Once you get this base part figured out, it's good. Push it further back in. Mm, maybe not. It, it's where I want it to be, but it's not as deep as I want it to be. That's what she said. So I guess that's how that's going to have to be from now on.
a hair turn. Oh, the stairs. I don't know why, but this is irritating me. Why can't I just place it on top? Why I want it. Come on, click in. I know you can do it. I clicked you in before, why aren't you not doing it now? <sighs> well, you gotta be difficult.
Come on! Snap into place! God damn it! Snapped into place dozens of times before. Is one of the mods preventing it? Can't forget how wonky this goddamn forsaken place is. It's a weird angle. See, it's not even lined up to being straight. Come on. You should be fine. Where? Where's the sweet spot? God damn it! I saw it a second ago. Uh, what?
Who? Ah? Yeah, there we go. That's better. But now this spot's no longer claimable. Weird. Sort of. I guess it's okay, I need to put walls up anyways. And right here I guess I can have it as a power outlet section? Because I gotta get power into this building. And I use the walls for walls. So if I was to, let's say, put down a metal wall here. Uh-oh. There we go. This means I have this nook right here. I gotta get like a slice wall or something to put right there. And then I get a door ra frame right around here, connect it, go around this edge over here, connect it to the top of that, and I'll have a whole walkway above me. That's good. I could do that. And I just d did get a level up, so that's good too. Oh, first things first. Drop two harnesses, drop an outfit, drop the left arm, drop the legs, drop the outfit. T pipe pistols. Okay, that should have got me some stuff. And then I got put a roof over the top of this. lined up nicely. Good. Hi, Bambino and La Sombra. Yeah, it's the wonkiest place in Fallout, but also it's the best for your first settlement that you can build in because it's small. It may seem small, but you can build up to that roof. You can build up that tall. 
Yeah, but it's the best starter location. I'm not Well, it's the best starter location to me, anyways. And since it's modded, I got I was able to get rid of this whole front gate. That means I have to put my own front gate, but still. No, it's no height extension. It's basic scrapping mod. Um The mods I use are pretty basic. I'm using just basic ordinary mods that are very popular but do not hinder the game. Not very much. I crash, but what game do what Fallout game doesn't crash that's made by Bethesda? See, I got all this. These are the mods I have. They're just basic. Yeah, it crashes with no mods, so... These are just basic mods I use. This is the one I'm using right now for the base. And the mod allows to clean up every owned settlement in the base game. From unwanted vegetation, debris, trash piles, rocks, corpses. You know, the basic stuff that they just slapped into the game. To make it look like it's more filthy and stuff for some stupid reason. Just basic mods. There's n not many of them. There's a uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. There's thirteen active mods, and they're all quality of life mods and nothing else. It just lets me scrap certain things in the game. And that's all. I mean, the, the mods aren't even that high high grade, you know? They're, they're not that impressive. They just function and make the game work a lot better. Yeah, I don't get why the game, uh, why consoles are having such difficulty just functioning as a console nowadays. Hell, did you hear about the PS5 is going to be uh, being scrapped for the PS6 that they're already working on? So if you had a PS5, it's got the lifespan of a PS4 but shorter. When the PS4 goes, the rest of it goes with it. The PS5 goes when the PS4 goes, so it's... Seems kind of funny that all that hard work for a PS5 just to know it's going to die at the same time a PS4 will.
Yeah, I bought one selling mine since PlayStation don't want my money building computer. Yeah, my brother uh, decided to build his own computer for like 500 bucks that has all the best shit in it. Since he could program his own so he didn't bother. Though I don't think many people know how to program their own computers like my brother does. Hell, my mom made our our house computer back when the fucking what was it? 1998? My mom programmed her own computer for the house. Which is kind of funny to think about. That my 55 year old mother just a few di uh, a couple decades ago was able to program her own goddamn computer and build it. And my little brother does the same thing. It's like, I got 500 bucks, I'll just build a new computer. Hell, the whole Gamergate thing is so stupid. It's like, hey, let's pick a fight with the people we want money from. That is the dumbest thing I've ever heard of. Cheers, I don't talk crap on P PlayStation, so I don't know. Awesome. Yeah, I just, I keep up to date with the n information about everything that's going on with consoles and PCs and stuff. And all I know is they're becoming way too greedy. And that greed is going to end up destroying the their livelihoods completely Yeah, it's just, I don't understand the... It's like, consoles think they're above what they were. And gaming has become too common. It's like, normies have destroyed it. When it didn't used to be that way. Maybe too much money got put into the seer into it. Got it. Keep your eyes open. I think this asshole's using a stealth boy. I'm not using a stealth boy. What are you talking about?
It's like, I want more people to play games, yeah, but they gotta understand they can't just put their shit in it and think, Oh, look, I made it better. No, you didn't. You worked on it to build Fallout 4 or other games of, run out of bullets at some point. Nazi zombies? Yeah. I think video games are gonna slowly become obsolete in general soon. And then the gaming industry is gonna have a massive, massive hiccup. <laughs> And that hiccup's gonna be devastating. Yeah, but it's gonna get worse. This is barely... Barely anything going right now. It's like, what you're seeing now is just the start of something that could, could become a huge problem for the industry. I mean, billions of jobs lost. Like, half the industries go under. Indie games are going to be so on demand that it already has become the era of the indie game developer. Where indie game devs are the go-to source for content. Yes. Which makes sense, because indie game developers still understand how to make a game correctly without injecting garbage into it. They're like, I'm just making a game for fun. Literally nothing else. And that's why we gamers seek out indie games now. Because we just want to have fun. We don't want any garbage. I play more indie games now than I've played in ever in my damn life. So far. Oops. God damn it. I keep dropping that wedding ring and I gotta stop doing that. Dog meat, you're not helping.
crap, where'd it go? Did I already lose that wedding ring? Oh, god damn it. Losing a build here was going well. I put elevator in enemy spawn. They they're goofed them they goofed them up. Yeah, I see a lot of people find out the spawn points and then put traps right underneath them so they immediately die. I don't got much gun ammo. Uh, sinking objects? Yeah, that happens. But I find the hangman's alley be my best... the best one. For me, anyways. Out of all the settlements. Because it's just easier to get to. Easier to begin a build here over all of them. I believe if you do it right here, there will be no sinking objects right here because of the way it's set up. Yeah. It's good because it's also small and takes very little resources. The thing is, the game shows you that they put a lot of crap where it doesn't need to be. Because this one mod lets you clean up the dirt, the garbage on the ground. And you actually have a full staircase here. That they put crap on top of for no reason. I didn't have to do much of that because I found a way to get it to um, merge into the walls a little bit. But for some reason, it's not being very nice about it. Best way I could put it is... Um, I used to... There should be a way for me to take this, put a normal floor that merges into the wall on each part here. And when it does, it looks like this wall becomes part of the building's wall. Takes up very little materials that way. I mean, so far this looks good right here. Nice and flush. But for some reason, I just can't... get it to go that way. I 
well, I was doing I was doing that in the game itself. I was being allowed to do that without the mods. I was just doing that naturally. See, like this. At one point, I was able to do this. It takes a bit of work, but you can merge this flooring all the way across. This, um, spawn points for new spawn points outside of the map. Yeah, there, there's a way to get... I have the spawns outside of the thing now with a certain mod. But to, trying to finesse this one piece... Just trying to finesse this one piece to work. Is harder than I've ever had to do in my life. Because if you can make it work on... If you can make it work over here and become one flat surface, it lines up with over here. Perfectly, too. The only problem is, it's really hard. And it takes a lot of effort to get it just to line up just right. And you have to do it this way. No, that's not going to work. No, you do it with this piece. This is the piece I must use. It's kind of got to lift itself slightly off the ground while being emerged into the door frame because this becomes the framework of the... Um, this one little frame here becomes the framework of the whole base. This one little door becomes everything to it. And if I do it right, this snaps into place right here. And once that snaps into place, it'll go through the wall there and keep going. It's, it's finessing it, that's for sure. No ladders, no glitches. I've built entire settlements without glitches that worked just fine. Are you gonna go in now? Come on, just a little. No. That's how I tell if I did it right is literally that floor going into place. Oh! Wait a minute. That's what I need. I needed you to be up there like that. Come on. Come on. Yeah, I grope 
group select stuff, everything I can use as I use. Yeah. Because once I set this piece down and get it right, a couple pieces all fall into place, and then the whole settlement could be built to be a triple... This thing becomes a town built on three 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 layer town. Three story town or something like that. Yeah, you have to build up. It's like Japan. You don't got a lot of room to work with inside their, your borders, but outside you got a lot. Come on. Just click into place, please. God damn it. See, look. It will click over here. See how it clicks in the wall like that? That's what I want. But the other way. I wonder. Hmm. Yeah, I, it's going the wrong direction. I wanted to go that way, not that way. Wait a minute. I have an idea. I wonder if it's something like this. Would it be that easy and simple? No, it's not. I thought. It, I thought if I turned it. <laughs> oh, Fallout. <laughs> Thanks for the like and sub. Because I built... You know the cross it, crossroad area with a bunch of super mutants and stuff that's called Crossroads? I built a giant tower there with turrets from all sides. And when that thing gets done, it looks like ten penny towers. And it cannot be taken down. Like, at all. Underneath it, at the very base, is the farm. First floor is... Amenities like the like the shops and the um, hospital and the and the bar and the eatery and the restaurant and it's up one above that is the security area. Then the third floor above that is the residential, and the very top floor is just turret central that shoots down at anyone that comes near. It got to the point of when I come back to those locations, it says I have like a couple hundred kills and shit. Hey, Eddie. Uh, I'm doing fine. Just trying to get Fallout to uh, work. Come on. Because I've gotten it to click into place so many times. Come on. I just need one of you to click over here. And then I can use that as a anchor point. Wait, what? Wait, did I just... I'm connecting to this. Wait. Huh? Huh? How? What? I connected to this? What did? Huh? How? How? No, seriously, how did I do this? I could take this a whole different route now. Embedded into the goddamn whoops. <laughs> the only problem with little floors trying to put walls up is a bitch.
So, what gives? Why does this have such a difficulty with me? Come on. What is going on? I connected to this goddamn ladder. Which means this door has become useful. If I build it right and move outward here, if I could. That, oh, this is interesting. And then, let's just let's try to give this a try here and see what happens. Because I remember I would get on top of here, put a floor right down on the very top of this. I don't know why it doesn't let me put one now. Like, you can't put a floor up here anymore. And then I turn this into a shop. And I connect the floors over to the roof of this, becoming its own personal roof. Making this a um, armor store and weapon shop right here. Because they're next to each other like you would in a Skyrim game. But finding the floor connecting here? That's just, this is just weird. And now it's not connecting at all to where I want. What am I missing? What am I missing that's preventing me from achieving this goal I'm requiring to look for here? Good to know that I connect to that staircase. Because I remember I could do a lot of certain things and it does look wonky at first. But when it, when it clicks and connects correctly... See, this right here. What the hell is going on? I could, I could put a whole floor into that wall. But I cannot have put a floor over here. Connection biting in onto walls was tough. Yeah, I I just found I found that this uh, the settlement building system probably the best thing they've added to Fallout 4. To Fallout in general, because that's what I want. God damn! My controller walks forward on its own. One second. There we go. I wonder if I should add the other piece. Is that what I'm missing? Another piece? This part right right here? So I need to get some wood. I need to go out hunting for some wood. Only problem is I don't got much ammo right now. Crap. And also I'm playing on hard. Because I found that I did not like Fallout 76. I watched it and was like, that's, that's trash. Play Fallout 4 in a while. Should I get it back on again? It's up to you on that one. I have mine modded, so it might be a little um, one-sided on what you're seeing. Granted, my world is more looted. I find less loot in my world because it made more sense for the mod looted. But I do scrap. Oh, no. Wow, that don't give me a nice little kissy.
Why not? Crit. <laughs> Down dog. But I also get more stuff from enemy drops and more stuff when I scrap, so I guess it's fine, it kinda evens out. Hey dog meat, thank you for taking the blunt of a nuclear explosion and being completely perfectly fine. Nobody Nobody's here. Also, I need to level up. I'm only level 4. I am way under level for this area. But the world used to be scattered with loot was no longer scattered with loot. Because think about it, 200 years? Why would there be so much trash still lying around if people were recycling so much? I went with the more logical choice and added the looted world mod. So the world is heavily sparse of goods for me to scrap but if I'm scrapping like 99% of the weapons I get all the armor and stuff I get I get double the loot for that anyways so it's fine I ain't going without not to mention every time I try to play I would end up with like four thousand dollars of pre-war money in my pocket for no reason doesn't say that the world's completely looted it just it's heavily already been pre-looted so I have to get my stuff out of combat I really need to start making myself better weaponry. Pipe pistols are trash. I wish they did much more with the pipe pistols, but... I know I cooked up some meat. There it is. Yeah, me, me, if I missed with a shotgun, I would have to hit myself. Please take cover until the danger has been eliminated. Yeah, I stuck a bunch of pre-war money in a glass case and cash vanished. <laughs> oh. Yes, yeah, weirdly enough. Almost became useless. Do not be alarmed. Law and order will be restored. <gasps> God damn, these guys hurt. But he has a bunch of goodies, and I want those goodies. I wish they. I wish. The devs actually thought of making the pre-war food be cooked up into meals that no longer is radiated. Would have been great.
That way we didn't have to, you know. I know I don't have to, but I'm gonna see how much I get more for fighting. Is I, the game's pretty much telling me go out and fight? Yeah, all my mods make it the game more realistic and harder to find loot, yes. But what you get out of it is you can get more loot from your combat. And your scrounging around. As in, where people don't normally go. And if you find people there, they mostly have the loot you need on them. And if you scrap something, you get more from it. So you get it back anyways, it's just in a different method. So weird not to have this up front. I put all my pre-war money in a safe, though. Short pipe rifle might be good for me. Hey, you did it for decor. Yeah, my decor was those little robot uh, things you can collect. And then put I put those in my display case once. Sometimes they'll fall out of the display case and you gotta reopen it. Now I need to put out a bed for myself. I need I need a save point. I'm not picky. Anything will do. There we go. Now do I have enough wood for a single use? Okay, yeah. There we go. This makes the new entrance to my... Okay. This should help. No, that's why.
So that is connected to that, but it's not flushed with the f fuck. Of course, you're not flushed with the wall like I want. Could I just? I wonder. Would it be better if I do it through this method? Flip it around so it's technically backwards. Come on, I see you can fit. Come on. You're flashing green. Gotcha. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Now, somehow, I just gotta turn it around and get it to come out to the front. Okay. This is how I want it to be, though. Flushed with the wall. Yet, I want to be able to put flooring there. I swear to God, this, this place is the best first starter one because you get used to the wonkiness, for one. Oh yeah, I'm not moving forward sometimes, it's my controller automatically taking the steps forward against my will. Yep, that's pretty much a thing. No, God damn it. I'm fighting my controller. I don't know who decided to make these areas, but my god. Hmm. Maybe if I do back it up. Enough to where I could get a floor to pierce through the, the thing while being in front of it. Like, right up in front here. Connect it to the front of this as well. Maybe? Maybe that'd be better? Because I know I can connect it to the front. Sometimes. if I already have it attached. Could I sneak it in? I just gotta get it to work once. That's all I need. I've done it without the ladder, so...
What is with this location? That's so difficult. See, a whole one should fit here. It should. But for some reason, it's not giving it to me. What if I do this? Oh, that may not work. If I turn it around and use it over here... Sliver forward. See, that's the problem with that. I don't want to use any ladders, because I've done this without ladders or any of that weird shit. Because once I put up this floor and able to connect it into this wall, I can't move it. Like, ever again. I killed just for this to be all even and perfectly syn sync with it with itself, but see, it's not flush against the wall for some reason. There's this big gap right here.
If I could just get the one piece to sit here, I'm, I will be golden. I mean, there is one way I know I could try. I have to make this block fit. See, getting that to fit is the key to this whole thing. <laughs> Damn. It's almost been two hours I've been trying my damnedest to get this to work. Also, it would help if I had settled. No, settlers would just make things harder for me right now, huh? It's too oil, and I can get that going. have to tweak the crap out of I used to be able to just put a floor up here. For some reason I can't. That can that that hinders me great greatly. See, I would be able to put stuff down on top of this to start a floor. But I don't remember what I used. Was it these floors? Did I use these? Well, I couldn't if I wanted to. Because um, I remember putting down floors on top of these perfectly square looking spots right here. Is perfect for when you want to put a full floor down. I'm wondering if I'm not using the right piece. Because certain pieces will work. Wow. This takes a lot of fucking wood. There's pieces you can use that have way better ability at taking something and moving it into place. Um, 
let's let me think. Uh, what was I using? Was it a beam? Was I using one of these? To put a piece of wood in place? And granted, it wasn't that tall to begin with. I'm just trying to remember how I did it. Shouldn't I be able to snap into place on a metal rod? Okay, that doesn't seem right, but... See, now it's too far in. <sighs> so... <sighs> Don't be difficult like this, please. Come on. There it goes. There we go. Place it right here. I need to finagle it and re grab it. Damn, this controller stopped moving on your own. That's nice. Can I get you closer to the left? Where'd you go? Oh. I'm too close when I picked you up. There we go. Come on. Just sniff in there! I mean, I have other streams and videos and stuff that shows me doing this. See, I got it to get somewhat a half of one in there, but... See, snapped right into place there.
<laughs> well, don't let your phone explode on you. I've had a few phones batteries explode. I thought this metal rod would do it, but no, that's not gonna work. Certain, not every wall is the same when it comes to building, by the way. Some of them are just better at it. See what I mean? Like, look at this wall. Look what I managed to do with it this time. What the hell? See? Completely different ways of doing this. It's so weird. Wait, if it says build a recruitment beacon, which means I have the parts for the damn thing. I need crystal and copper game. Why are you saying I have enough for that? Huh. Hmm. Ah, damn it. The game's just going to be a little difficult on me right now. But this may be the ticket into what I need to do. If it would just stop being a complete ass about it. Oh, see, right there. See, there we are. Not to mention, it's lined up with up here. Jesus Christ, Come on. You're working out so far. You've gone into this wall a dozen times. Wait, is it just too high up? Is that the issue I'm facing? See, right there. I made it to get into the wall. See, it's just... The finessing of this damn thing is just... On a whole nother level of... Hmm... It's too high up. If I try to put it up here, it's too high. So if I try to put it down here, is it just... 
Is it is it good? So far that's good. No, it won't let me connect over here at all. Every time I want to start one of these damn places, I always start here and try to get this place working up in order. Okay, that definitely won't work like that unless I tweak it a little bit. Come on. There you go. And there we go. Get a stick. Get a stick for me? Come on. Oh, you're way off. Oh, for... Ah! Uh, God damn this controller! This controller's not even a year old, by the way, and it's already pulling forward on me. Of course you had to be off by just a little, didn't you? Right when this thing right here looks perfectly nice. Finesse that thing in there. So he keeps trying to connect to that ladder, and I don't want it to connect to that ladder.
Is it gonna function? Damn. Well, if I can get it to go the other way, I got a chance. This feels like it's off. Yeah, it's off. Damn it. Do I have to go back and watch my old streams to wonder how I did this the first ten times? At this point, I just want to get this piece of wood to fit in. If I can get to work, it'd be worth it. Because technically, I would have to only use a, pe a small piece here. Just get it to come one. See, because if you have wood all the way around it, a lot of times they'll just click in, anyways, seeing that you have wood everywhere. It was clipping in just fine a second ago. <laughs> Is it really the height that's the problem here? Is it that sliver of height? What if I drop it down just a hair? Like that, see how it pops in, the ground pops in through the floor. And that's considered dropped down a single hair, which allows a lot of things to pass through most of the time. Come on. Yeah, it could be too tall. That's just it. If it's too tall, it won't merge into walls and stuff because the height is a little tad too big. I've reached into that problem more times than I care to cared for. Um, so if it's just too tall... Just need to find a nice spot to put this. Merge over there. Really? Still too tall? Maybe I'm start. See this right here is nice. I like this. See how it merges just fine. Makes me wonder about something. Like, I had that metal rod, right? The metal railing? That seemed to work just fine to a point. 
then I ran into issues. Makes me wonder about a lot of things. Because I always could put walls and doors into the ground and still have people come through them just fine. They can slightly go through them. Right here is the perfect height. Right here. And all I have to do is find the perfect sweet spot, I guess. That lets me build from this height. Depending on where I'm looking at, I need to look at where I need to look without it jumping up and I can see what I'm doing. Okay, I need it to come around this corner. Where is the second piece of wood? Start right about there. Turn it a hair. That way I have a whole piece of wood perfectly lined up. Yep. And that way I could put another piece of wood here taking the corner. Ooh, that's what I gotta do. I gotta take this corner. I could put this down here. Put wood there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is gonna work. I am literally trying to finagle this thing so hard. God damn it. might not look pretty, but it's doing what I want. Ish. Oh boy. Hmm. I'm trying to take this corner. I could just... Oh, that's why it's not working. Right there. Turn too far into the wall. And not far enough over there. Okay, 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 okay. I got it, I got it. Fuck, for fuck's sakes, why do you always gotta jump up uh, like that? Huh? And that. Uh, and sweet it in. Nice and gently. Ooh. Ooh. That's what I'm talking about. That's what daddy likes. Oh boy. And here's an issue right there. Okay, I may be out of wood, but if I can get this to just fit, I'll have a second layer to my town. All because this right here is the perfect height. This one beam, if you ever wonder what the perfect height is for each floor. Because believe it or not, the AI will not go b above three floors. That's its limitation, is three floors with its programming. So it's if you ever wonder how tall to make each floor, this one little metal rod can do all the work for you. Okay. And it lines up with this. Like I wanted it to. Good. Can I. Nope. That's normal though. Every time I built, right here has always been an issue. 
Uh, with a mod. I'm talking without a mod to get them up there. Their maximum height is literally just... Okay, if I do do this, though, it's fine, because I could put a staircase that lets me go up one more floor, right here, lets me go up one more floor here, and then I build a giant thing up in the air in here, but also I keep going the floor this way, building a recreational area. This gets really complicated <laughs> after a while. Let me just check on this to see if this is nice and flushed. It is? Wow. I may have to finagle more stuff. But it's looking up so far. I don't got much resources, so the resources I just got from scrapping this place and some stuff got me to do about this much. And then I always put a ladder on one of these smaller ones here that look like this. Uh, it should give you one, two, three, no, four floors. It should be a four flo four to five, four floors because that's what you see around you is a four floor apartments. But it's manageable. And if I can get some uh, get some steps here, build something on top of here, then then work my way up even higher, I can build on top of this roof up here. I can build on top of this right here and make myself a nice a nice um nice area up there. But I have no mods that help me otherwise beyond that. I wonder... Can I squeeze just a hair out of it going to the left? I mean, I love... How flesh, flush this is with the wall right now. That is... That is kind of breathtaking, breathtakingly beautiful and all. But I would like a little more. I don't even know if I can get a little more out of it. Okay, I got a hair more out of it. Because I want to put a couple of the little tiny ones. A little single would go right here. And then I put a steps, uh, steps that go up to the next floor there. That becomes that roof to here. Which is also two shops on the bottom floor. And here is where I put all the scavenger, scavenger stuff. Right here is where I do the water pumps. I build a floor that leads up to here. That keeps the engine for all the power. On, a, on above the water pumps. And right here I believe is something I build there that's actually useful. But I managed to, I'm able to cram so much crap into one area. So far, so good. What I got going is okay. Not what I wanted, because I know I can do better and get more stuff just crammed into the walls. But I don't know. I'll have to figure things out over time. The Looted wor World mod, though, is kind of hindering me a little bit. See, because you would find a lot of shit in this one building right here. But with the mod I have, you ain't gonna find shit in there. <laughs> I 
Though the more I level up, the easier it gets, too. So I should worry about just going out and finding stuff. Ah, Jaws reference. See, you can't even find the bandana and the items that were laying around here because it was looted beforehand. This has already been pre-looted as well. Yeah, this is, um... Damn, this mod is devastating. When I can't find resources near my resources. Ouch. Around for locations and hopefully have it activate, that is. I always could get uh, Codsworth. That motherfucker is insane. Hey, La Samba. Samba. Did you ever turn Godsworth into, uh, Codsworth into Godsworth? I've actually gotten to the, I got to a point in one game where I, um, completely overhauled Godsworth's entire body. He was still an iBot. Like, he was still a Mr. Handy, but he had Gatling guns for arms. And he also had double chainsaws and a flamethrower. No, nope, I'm crying. Ooh. Ooh, I thought I just crashed there for a second. Ooh, boy. No running, though, by the way. Do not use the run... The run in this game. It will crash you. <laughs> if you try to run. Ah, perfect. Ah, okay. I need local leader, so I also need six charisma, which is just if I use this level, but I don't shouldn't not yet, anyways. The higher your luck, the more scrap you find too. On top of getting crits, but right now I need my intelligence to go up enough to where I can get better scrapping. Oof, I almost goddamn crashed. That's a little unnerving for me. Let's go help Preston Igarby, I guess. I guess. I'm not sure, because with the power armor and stuff might be helpful. Kind of. Not really. I don't really use it much. Power armor that's limited on a battery timer is kind of meh. But at one point, I had over 500 of the damn things, so that's about 500 hours of power armor usage. Real world time, though, that is. Which is goddamn hilarious. It's like, how many batteries are you carrying? 500. So technically, it goes through the whole game without ever needing to, you know, stop. But having the world so pre-looted is kind of difficult. Are you fucking kidding me? Hey, did he... I was gonna say, did this fucker open the door for me? Ow.
God damn, dog beat. When they said uh, the world would be already pre-looted a bit, I didn't know they meant this overwhelmingly looted. Holy crap, this is beyond looted, guys. They may have over... Overdid it. <laughs> There's zero T, H's, E's, or R's. Okay, there might be S's, O's, or T's, or P's, so... No. <laughs> yeah, I go look for dud uh dud removers like that and whatnot and refills. There's no E's, so that removes a lot of words. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I know most people are like, just back out and in, and it's like, no, 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 no. Well, I got a unique name because I was uniquely born. And it was fun to watch teachers struggle try to write my name down and get it wrong for 18 years. But I'm the I was the first and only person in the world by name this spelt this way, so got to feel special if you're the first one to ever do it. Bambito. What year is it? You mean 2024 or the year I was born in 1986? I'm old now. Well, I'm middle-aged, but still. I should have been dead 27 years ago, so... 37 years ago, I should have been dead, so... All in all, I've been on borrowed time for 37 years, so... Should be grateful I got any time at all. I mean, I'm the only person in the whole damn world with all seven heart defects at once. And I'm still alive. <laughs> it's 2009. Why would you want to live in 2009? Ew. That was a terrible year to be in.
Well, since I was born between two generations in 1986, I wouldn't know. I went outside and played in the dirt. I touched grass. I talked to girls. You know, I was kind of as normal as you can get for a kid back then. Even if my body didn't work. Oh, congratulations. You're a quarter of the way through your lifespan. Um, yes, middle age is when the human becomes... Middle age is considered the age between a beginning... And an end of a lifespan, which is for men, 60 to 75 is towards the end of a male's, uh, human, adult male's lifespan. You, guys only live to be to 60 to 75, on average. So when you hit your 30s, you're becoming middle aged because you're only going to live to be 60 or 75. So between 30 and 40, you're middle aged. I'm 10 years old and I'm not middle aged. <laughs> yeah, wait for it. Wait for it. When you go, I said that once. Oh, look, I'm a kid. Blinked. And now I'm an adult. It goes by so fucking fast. And then it speeds up. When you realize you're an adult now, and then it starts to speed up as you slowly work yourself to death in a quicker pace. Life is irony. It's kind of hilarious. I mean, I kissed a girl by the time I was seven or something like that. Somewhere near there. I mean, at least I've kissed a girl, though. Never gone on a first date yet, though. Can't really go on a first date when you can't make money. It is what it is. Most Americans now can't make money, even middle class. Dang inflation. Well, inflation is because we have a bunch of idiots. Because no one did a background check on them. They just thought, oh look, Trump must be bad without actually looking into it. When, guess what? He wasn't. Surprisingly... He's the best president we've had in 60 years. That must have been a low fucking bar. Believe it or not, I'm a liberal. That usually shocks people. 
like I'm I'm considered a liberal, but I'm also an independent. I'm like in the middle, but lean slightly left, but only lean to the right when it comes to economics. So yeah. You know, to each their own, but at least you should do your homework before you vote for someone. And not believe what other people tell you about them. Got it. Oh no, you can change America. It's just slow. It's just, believe it or not, it takes a whopping. It takes a whopping decade or two to change anything. It's never gonna be instant. Ever. So what you try to change now will not take effect until your great grandkids are born. Yeah, people complain about everything every day because they're not bright enough to think through the, for themselves and they think that blaming others will be the easiest route to get what they want. When all it does is piss everyone off, ending up where you get the short end of the stick, and then you're wondering why life got worse, which makes you just bitch more, and then you're wondering why it's still is getting worse because you won't get off your ass and do anything about it. When it's your own self that's causing the issue. That's coming from a fucking liberal. <laughs> I got all dead. Life's not fair, and never will be fair, and if you want to actually make change, maybe you should get to do something yourself without complaining about others doing their own thing. Oh no, I never liked uh, Joe Biden. I knew I knew about Joe Biden's uh, BS before he before even before he was elected as a vice president. Um, because that man is as racist as you can get. If you ever actually looked into that man's history, oh my god. He said things that I can never say on YouTube without getting permabanned. I'm 37. Even though you're a Republican, I don't like most Republicans. Yeah. I didn't like Bush. I didn't vote for Obama because he was lying through his teeth. I don't like war. I hate war. Yeah. Man, I don't know who you are. Unpopular, unpopular d uh, belief, First though, regardless. is to Follow find out that less people died in 9/11 than they did in car crashes that year. Minutemen? So now 
I'm traveling backward in time? Protect the people at a minute's notice. That was the idea. So I joined up, wanted to make a difference. Hey, Bandito. America elected their first like the keto president and, and with Joe here, so it's fun. I guess history was made. <laughs> Because everyone knows that Joe's a pedo. I mean, you can't tell. The guy's sniffing children on camera. <clears throat> Please, go on. A month ago, there were 20 of us. Yesterday, there were eight. Yeah, but... My God... The way things are going right now, it's just people are going to have to suffer before they get it through their thick skulls. But that's the way it's going to be. Some people don't learn until they suffer. Ghouls? What are ghouls? Wow. You really aren't from around here, are you? Ghouls are irradiated people. After all, you only grow as a person like through you um, hardship you and, up and, you know, live for a long time. hardship and suffering like is how a person speak. actually grows. The ones I'm talking about Giving them what they want, they don't grow. The radiations rotted their brains, made them feral. They'll rip you apart just as soon as look at you. Anyway, we figured Conquer would be a safe place to settle. Yeah, I guess strong. if people want to but, believe that's fine. Well, we do have one idea. One good idea can make all the difference. Sturgis, tell him. There's a crashed vertebrate up on the roof. Old school. Pre-war. Eh, I think the JFK one was the government like trying to get rid of him because he was not popular with the... We're talking a full suit of with the, um, with the Senate and House. They did not like him. I like it. <laughs> yeah, I thought you might. Protection with an added bonus. Get the suit. You can rip the minigun right off the vertebrate. Do that, and those raiders get an express ticket to hell. You dig? Minigun. Now we're talking. I know, right? Only there's one hitch. No, uh, you know what's the scary part is? Most conspiracy years. theories are being proven true. But That's more terrifying. Stuck. You want him removal of the Vietnam? Yeah, my grandpa fought in the Vietnam War. Well, he fought, was on a boat as one of the soldiers who repaired and maintained the helicopters. Hello? I'll help if I can. What you'll need is an old pre-war FC. A standardized fusion core. Your high-grade, long-term nuclear battery used by the military and some companies way back. Yeah, but believe it or not, our government doesn't have as much power as, pe uh, power as people believe it's unless you the give basement. them that power. Like behind a security gate. That's the thing. Look, I fixed up. If there's no one to I enforce their laws and rules, they have exactly no power to begin with. And if the people decide to just ignore them, they lose their power altogether. Actually, I already grabbed the fusion core. We're set. Well, all right. Maybe our luck's finally turning around. Once you jack the core into the power armor and grab that minigun, those raiders will know they picked the wrong spot. <laughs> Good luck. Dog meat sure did find us some help. Just look at ya. He's a good dog. Smart, too. Oh, indeed. Dog meat's good at finding folks who need him, and he'll stick by you now. <laughs> I saw it. Please, tell me what you know. Just listen to me. <laughs> Tin the crazy old lady. It's the chems, you see. Give old Mama Murphy the sight. In that way, since I was a yeah, the one thing about there's one thing that people don't realize about every war that's ever been fought and won only takes thirty percent to thirty percent three percent of the majority to win it. 
only 30 I believe only 33 percent of able-bodied men fought actually fought oh. in the Revolutionary okay. War that's incredible I, can see a I believe it was, it was called the the law of 30 30 percent law or something like that when a when the majority hits 30 percent that you're more likely to win your fight right now I can see there's something coming drawn by the noise and the chaos yeah my great uh, my grandpa served as a helicopter worker, uh, the guy who worked on the helicopters, and he said the worst part about it all was when he had to spray them clean, and he saw his friend's guts all over it. What is it? So Mama Murphy, I need more, please. He's seen some shit. I'm sorry, kid, but I just don't know. The sight ain't always clear, but believe me when I tell you, it ain't a radar. I'm tired now. And if I ain't mistaken, you've got a job to do. The Minutemen were supposed to protect us. Garby promised. Bingo. Yes. He promised. <laughs> no, 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 no. Mine served as a truck munition driver and regular infantry grunt. Yikes. Yeah, war's never good, though. But everyone wants to go to war because it makes a good amount of money. Sadly. America makes billions of trillions of dollars off arming people to kill each other that's not what we used to be like we were innovating into things like cars trucks motorcycles airplanes trains They're also getting really good at making um, Saturday, different types of food. While en route to West Stockbridge, a vertebrate crashed into the roof of this museum. The cause? EMP following nuclear detonation. Several, in fact. From the intel I've gathered, this... Yeah, but religion also event. ties in with some people need it to be impact. good people. Pilot and if they need it, then so be there. it, but... Yeah, I don't think the Fallout game series is supposed to end up as a documentary.
It's called taking cover. There we go. Really, guys? You're coming at me fully armored? And you think you're gonna do dilly squat? That's cute. That's real cute. Though I like how it's nighttime, so when this goes off. This is nice. Nighttime fighting is just something else. Okay, that's all the hostels. Hostels are clear. Oh yeah, I forgot. My fat ass breaks these sandbags. Me gun treaded the mob without a ammo and extremely overpowered, especially with 10 strength power armor, makes it AP infinite. I don't think it's infinite, but it's pretty good up there. It's so early with power armor. Because I know a lot of people that do need religion for themselves to keep them mentally stable, which is, I guess, okay. As long as they're not bad people, because a lot of them aren't. But some of them will try to use it as an excuse. That was a pretty amazing display. I'm just glad you were on our side. Guys, gonna be okay now. Yeah, for a while anyway. We can at least move someplace. Listen, when we first met, you asked about the Minutemen. One thing you should know about us: we help out our friends. So here, for everything you've done, thank you. I didn't do it for money. Hey, sorry. I'm used to everyone being in it only for themselves. You know, you remind me of my friends. The other men and men, the ones who gave their lives for something bigger than themselves. You should come with us to Sanctuary. We could use the help. All right, Garvey. I'm in. Oh, that's wonderful. But there's more to your destiny, isn't there? I've seen it. And I know your pain. Please, tell me. I need to know. You're a man out of time. Out of hope. But all's not lost. I can feel the sun's energy. He's alive. I knew it. Please, tell me where he is. I need to find my son. I can't see him. Not clearly. But I feel his life force. He's out there. And even I don't need the sight to tell you where you should start looking. The great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Diamond City. 
the biggest settlement around. Please, Mama Murphy, I'm working for nothing. I need more. Look, kid, I'm tired now. Maybe you'll bring me some chems later. The site will paint a clearer picture. No, Mama Murphy, we talked about this. That junk. It's going to kill you. Ah, shush, Preston. We're all going to die eventually. We're going to need the site. And our new friend here, he's going to need it too. Now let's get going. Sanctuary awaits. All right, folks. Thanks to our friend here, it's safe to move out. We're heading for that place Mama Murphy knows about. Sanctuary. It's not far. She knows about it? You mean she had one of her visions while she was stoned out of her gourd? And now you want us to just head out on another wild goose chase based on no better plan than Mama Murphy saw it? It can hardly oh, hold turn on, out hold any on. worse than... Everybody just take it easy. We're all in this together, right? So Marcy, you got a better idea... Surprisingly, the Minutemen are the best company you can have, but the Garvey's a little bit, um... Well then. He's a little Thank annoying. Let's just hope it but he's just overly name. helpful. To Come a fault. To go. He just wants to help everyone, okay. even if it blows his foot off. Which is what gets him in trouble and why people find him annoying. Granted, I don't mind him. That <laughs> Garvey wants war. Yeah. Yeah, I try not to talk politics, but it just comes up a lot more often. I usually end up going to the Raiders thing in Nuka World and doing as much as I can of Nuka World, earning the perks and stuff, and getting that one guy as my companion, and then I wipe out all the Raiders. Don't forget the price we paid to get this far. Yeah, I know. I try not to talk about it because. Everyone has different opinions. Get close, everyone. We're right behind you, boss. As my grandma and grandpa used to say, ev opinions are like assholes. Everyone's got one, and they're all full of shit. You can hear them out, but you don't have to agree with them. By the way, what? What is it, Bambito? <laughs> okay. <laughs> ugly babies. Aren't all babies born ugly? Because I've never met a cute baby before. Ever. <laughs> uh, you can't touch the room, Mom won't take it back. What state you're from, it depends. I uh, can't say I'm gonna miss this festering boil on the ass end of the Commonwealth. Uh, no offense if you're from here or something. <laughs> I don't know. My state is full of them. Okay. 
You know what Washington State is? We have the ugliest people in the world. They come from Seattle and Olympia. <laughs> They're homegrown there. We try to keep them there, though, but they like to spread out. <laughs> so far, the really ugly ones from California are coming up to here now. Yeah. Okay. It's really good. Yay. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's good stuff. Uh, my mom. I think I just found my new vacation home. I mean, can't no can't look at California people as real because they're 90% plastic. First, I think we're close. <laughs> new Jersey. Good luck trying to go to Manhattan. It's going to cost you 15 bucks every time you want to drive your car across a bridge. Yeah, I've been keeping up with New York and New Jersey and Manhattan. What the hell is going on down there? All I know is your the New York the New York went completely tits up crazy. Well, I'll be damned. Yeah, all I know I is New York's losing the their goddamn minds I knew that and gone completely batshit crazy. That means this right here must be the old North Bridge. With the first shot to and they're playing the politics with people's lives. I that the best omen I've seen since we left Quincy. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about, boss, but I'm glad you're happy about it. If you're running from New York, I get it. Half the population of New York ran away. It's no no wonder. Um, I don't know. I'm a liberal and I'm not that fucking shit ass crazy. <laughs> yeah, not all of us liberals are that nuts. They're a special type of crazy. I think they're not liberals. I think they're just nut jobs at this point. Yeah, it sounds. Every time I look into it, it sounds like the majority screaming at, at your own you government officials. I should have listened to Mama Murphy all along. Pretty nice place she's found for us. I think we could settle down here, make it a place to call home. Yeah, you know what's hilarious, is Trump was a Demo used to be a Democrat when he was young. Ran as an independent and got elected as a Republican president. That's how far left the left went. What do you mean? Before what war? Are you saying... I lived here over 200 years ago. I was frozen or something for most of it. Just woke up a little while ago. Damn. Like one of those old pre-war ghouls. You say you were frozen. Anybody else make it out with you? My son. Somebody took him away while I was still trapped. I've been looking for him. Damn. I'm sorry. I hope you find him. Let me know if there's any way I can help. Anyway, I am glad you're here. And I hope you don't mind. But I've got another favor to ask. I've had word from a settlement. Awkward silence. There's still hope in there are Minutemen out there. Somewhere. The only chance to start rebuilding the Minutemen 
is to show people that they can count on us when they need us. Trouble is, I've got my hands full here. Do you think you could go help out with the settlement? I'd be glad to help. That's fantastic. The men and men could use more people like you. By the way, if you want to help out around here at all, talk to Sturgis. I'm sure he'd be glad for all the help he can get. Hey, it's a bot kicked in. See, normally I wouldn't. Normally I wouldn't talk about politics unless you know someone in my chat or someone wanted to talk about it. Yeah, I don't think it's Bandito controlling it. <laughs> La Sombra. I don't think he's controlling shit. I, if he's if it's right, he's young. That's the thing, though. No one can control shit if you don't let them. Um, it's not really younger folks because it's the boomers. The boomers and my millennials right now are causing all the issues, and some some crazy people from um, the younger generation that fell for it. <laughs> Preston's not real, he can't hurt you. <laughs> Preston's not that bad, I don't know why people hate on him. Nah, bro, it's the... Eh, all I know is the more you try to force something, the more it will be rejected by this equal or greater force. You can never force anything in America. It must be natural and over time. If you introduce something slowly that takes about a hundred years, it will be perfectly fine and accepted. It's when you try to shove it down someone's throat do they get offense defensive and try to um counter it. I've seen this throughout human history.
I'm like 5'11". I'm around 5'11". Yeah, that means I'm an under 6 foot. But not by very much. Which always makes me wonder, like, why do you, why do women care so much about height? Most of the people in my family is six foot two to six foot on average. You shrink as you get older, by the way, once you hit your 50s and 60s. You start shrinking, so that six foot won't mean much after you get short. This brute... Then when he arrives at the sanctuary, I disable him with console commands. I'm just American. I'm a little bit mix of everything. Because what people don't understand is if you're born American, you're mixed race by default. Or so it seems, you know, since most 90% of Americans are mixed race. Strange folk, understand? I'm the kind of guy who believes that you should be who you sh want to be because you are who you choose to be, right? But you don't. That that doesn't mean anyone has. No one has to give two shits about you either. Yeah, don't need to know anyone's business, really. But when they try to put it in your face, and it's like, dude, no one cares. <clears throat> but if you say, if you tell people that you don't care, a lot of them get all uppity about it. Like, you should care. It's like, no, I don't. No one has to care.
Wait, what are you talking about? Republicans don't care if you're gay. Since a lot of Republicans are gay themselves. I think what a lot of Republicans have a problem with is when you're trying to shove it down people's throats like they have to give a crap. Being gay in, it, in itself is fine. But when you're telling people they have to give you what, they, what you want or else, that's when it becomes a problem. Again, you can't force something on others. If you want them to accept it, you have to just be yourself. And not demand anything and not look at them like they're evil. And demand that they give you what you want because you said so. That ain't going to work. I mean, my grandma's religious, but she's also not a conservative herself. My grandma's an independent who's actually pretty religious. As far as I remember, my grandma believes to each their own. Don't don't expect anyone else to care, though. I have no idea. I don't know about PlayStation's enforcement system.
Yeah, but I just know growing up that no one cares, like, at all. But don't expect anyone to care, because they don't need to. And never will need to. You just do you and live your life happily. Just don't expect others to, you know, give in to that themselves. Which is fine. Live and let live, as they used to say. I see nothing wrong with the live and let live whole, whole thing. Yeah, as long as you live and let live, don't hurt no one, don't steal from each other, try to live in peace and without causing harm to each other, which is harder to do than you think because the way humans are as a species we will step on each other's toes a lot No, that was the whole point of having a system, though, that was supposed to be law and order, which is no longer existent. In certain places, anyways. Oh, I found it. Yeah, but I might just call the stream here. Hopefully. I'll be able to... I might just turn off the Looted World perk because... Looted World mod because... I'm finding it too damn difficult to find goods of any kind now. Which is becoming near impossible to even build. Which is a downside to it, I guess. Which is not the end of the world. So, do the whole like, subscribe, you know, usual garbage. I play other games too, not just this one. It just depends on what my mood is. So, and if my stream is not on the video thingy, maybe YouTube got a hold of me and... T t Dragged me into the basement to whip me for being a bad person, I guess. Who knows? But I'll just keep playing games as I need. And I smell something burning. I really gotta go. What the hell is that burning smell? <laughs> 